Hi, I'm Ed Harold for Breathe Aware, and today I'm excited to be with you in this segment called Breathing on the Go. I'm going to break this down into two segments. Number one, making that transition from home to work. So in the car, in the train, making a transition and getting prepared for high levels of excellence in the workplace. Number two is leaving the workplace, cooling the brain down, cooling the blood down, cooling the body down, and getting ready to share time with your family, enjoy a good dinner, and then get ready for a good night's sleep. So getting prepared before you get into the game, getting prepared before you get to work is one of the keys so that you can make sure that you're at your best at every given moment, every opportunity you have during the day. So as I'm making that transition from my home to work, one of the breaths I like to do in the morning is to arouse me, but also insulate me and keep me calm in the cerebral activity, but also in the gut so that I'm tapping into my emotional intelligence that shows my passion, how much I love what I do, and how much I want to share that with others. So one of the tools I'll do is I'm breathing diaphragmatically through my nose. I'm utilizing the ocean sounding breath. I'm relaxing my eyes and jaw, and I'm tuning in to what's going on inside my mind. I'm almost trying to lift my mind above my mind and I inhale 50% of my capacity and I pause. And then I inflate the lungs fully and I pause. And then I exhale 100%. So what I'm doing here is, on the first 50% inhale, I'm filling the lower lobes of my lungs. The lower lobes of my lungs are imbued with parasympathetic nerve endings, which will calm me down. They're rich in serotonin. They stimulate my diaphragm and my vagus nerve, which gives me the ability to feel the moment first and stay centered and grounded. The second inhale fills the top sleeve of my lungs, which are basically imbued with sympathetic nerve endings, a slight spike to the heart rate. There's a slight spike of adrenaline and cortisol, and I'm slightly aroused, but I'm calm because I'm breathing through my nose. So it's an inhale of 50%, pause, my mind stops, I'm completely clear, I'm calm. I fill the lungs to their capacity, I'm stretching the lung tissue as far as it can go and I pause, and then I just bleed that air out through both nostrils in super slow motion, getting that parasympathetic response on the exhale, I'm calming down, I'm secreting serotonin, I'm stimulating my vagus nerve, and then I inhale 50%, pause, inhale 50%, pause, exhale 100%. So work with that to try to prepare the mind-body for optimal performance states during the AM hours at work. 50% inhale, pause. 50% inhale, hold in. Exhale 100%. Ocean sound in your throat, diaphragmatic breathing, and try to breathe as slowly as possible, scrubbing the blood of toxins. Now coming out of high edge activity, whether it's at the gym or high edge activity from the workplace, you know, the heart rate's been up all day. We're going through a lot of different contortions and things, trying to be the best we can be at every given moment of the day. What I like to do there is I like to do alternate nostril breathing on the way home, which synchronizes my two prefrontal cortexes. I calm down and I'm more in a relaxed, calm, mindful state getting into my personal time, leaving the workplace. The technique here is I'm going to use my thumb and ring finger. My first two fingers will curl in. I'll take my thumb and I'll close off the right nasal channel. I'll inhale slowly up the left nasal channel with an ocean sound in my throat and relax. At the apex of the inhale, I'll close off the left nostril, I'll release the thumb pad, I'll open the right nasal channel, and I'll exhale slowly out the right nasal channel with an ocean sound. Inhale up the right. Close off the right, open the left, exhale slowly. I'm focusing inside. Inhaling slowly up the left nostril, calming down, letting go of the day. Close off, release, exhale right, calm down. Inhale. 
close off, release, exhale. Inhale. Close off, release, exhale. Five to ten rounds of this is beautiful. This cross-patterning of the breath and how the energy of the breath moves into the brain taps us into our deeper ultrading and circadian rhythms so that we're more at one with nature. We can let things go. We can grow seamlessly. Practice this alternate nostril breathing and see if it doesn't calm us down. We can let go of what has happened. We can become fully present for what is happening and make it the best moment of our life. My name's Eddie Harold. I hope this helps. Have a great day.